Welcome to Home Farm. So today we're going to do some strimming. In our property we've got our manicured garden to the right hand side and we've got the left hand side which we've left a little bit rugged. Unfortunately it went a little bit too rugged over the course of the last uh, couple of months. Uh, so we had to go out and buy some pretty serious equipment to start trying to get through this. Two weeks ago uh, this was probably up to about waist height so our little electric Makita battery operated strimmer just wasn't cutting it. So we went online after some extensive research and we got Ryobi's smart tool which is basically a pretty high-end strimmer that comes with two attachments. The one that I currently have fixed on here is the blade and then we obviously got the generic little um, cord strimmer. This one we had fitted last week to get through the, the really high uh, weeds that had, uh, that had grown so we were, absolutely, we were able to chew through them. I've kept that on. Uh, we're gonna be pretty much taking it off and replacing it with the other one. And I also have a brand new, not yet used, uh, 50 meter long extension cord. Now the reason that we went with an electric a strimmer was because I'm not particularly um, optimistic about using the, the petrol powered ones. I, I tend to see people using petrol operated power tools and there's constantly issues with them whether they stall or they do things. In addition to that we've got a, a pretty big um, solar uh, array that we've put up so our electricity on glorious days like today is, is free so it actually doesn't cost anything uh, to run this. The first is that we have purchased this equipment, this was not given to us. We've purchased it to use, we've used it a few times now and so far I've been very very impressed with, uh, with the performance and, and the sheer power and the cutting power of, uh, of the actual strimmer. One small criticism, if you can call it that, is, is changing the attachments from the blade to the cord one is that it's, it's not as, as quick and easy as you think it would be. This is where I strimmed about two weeks ago with the, the metal blade attachment. This was all waist height, so you can see it actually did a fantastic job of just leveling it through. You can also see the thickness of um, some of the, the weeds and, and bush and brush that was out here. So it really did do a fantastic job. I did, however, just run out of time to finish the bottom bit. So there is a little bit left over. So I'll be able to just demonstrate just um, how well the metal blade will just uh, will just level all of this uh, before switching over to to the corded attachment, where we're just going to trim everything just that little bit uh, that little bit neater. It still has to look quite rugged because we do want this portion of the field just to be a little bit wilder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change this attachment. Like I said, it's not the, the simplest thing in the world to do because it is a bit, a bit fiddly, especially putting it back on. So what you need to do is unscrew the, the first nut, take off the first protective cover, take off the next bit and then the blade. And you have to keep this Allen key in because basically that keeps the lock in place which allows you to turn things. It's not necessary to put the new attachment on. Basically this just swivels on. Oops. Let's just align that. As 
I said, it's a little bit fiddly. Not the easiest thing in the world to... It doesn't just clip on and off very easily. And there we go, it just turns on once you've got the thing in place. Keep that in, and there we go. So we've changed to the, the cable attachment now. We've got rid of all the, the stalky bits that aren't going to keep tearing the cord. And now we're going to start just neatening up the whole area. Again, this is just uh, this just choose through stuff. So the one thing we haven't addressed is safety. Uh, I'm just wearing uh, some safety glasses, but you know I'm quite comfortable with uh, with that as my level of protection. You can get all kinds of equipment from face guards to to body suits to absolutely anything that will keep you protected from any flying bits of uh, grass or uh, shrapnel from the the trees. So you know your your safety is something that you want to take into consideration. I do keep the guard on. Uh, at the bottom because that does prevent stuff from flying back at me. I know some people remove that. I think that's not necessary. Uh, but yeah, never forget that you know your safety is your your priority. So we're going to change back now from the cord to the to the metal blade, and this is where it does get a little bit. You just got to be patient with this because it's not it's not seamless. So the first thing that goes on is the blade it just clips down there now this thing is a really annoying piece of equipment because you've got to figure out which way it goes because it actually slots on both ways that's the neat end and you think well that's the way it's got to go on but it doesn't it goes on the other way which doesn't look like the the perfect fit then we get the top bit on and then we get the nut on obviously everything turns the wrong way on these kind of equipment and you've got to hold this into place and tighten it down. And that, it, you can already see, it has not gone on properly. So now it's going to have to come off again. It's completely loose. And that's why I'm saying you just got to be a little bit patient with it. They didn't really think this through, I don't think, in terms of trying to get it to come on perfectly with the first time of asking. That on there we go we've got a nice tight fit now put that on get the nuts on there we go and that's it and that's how you change it Kirsten's uh, finished mowing the lawn I have finished with the strimmer. It's about a three hour session. It looks pretty fab. It's uh, been left intentionally long so that we can leave it a bit more rugged. There's a lot of um, toads and frogs and all other manner of insects in here. So we want to just keep that uh, long so that they can continue to, to live here. We've mowed the uh, little pathway through the bottom portion of the field and uh, the next task, because the grass around the pond has grown very very long, we're going to be taking to the, we're going to be taking to this with the strimmer and creating a bit of a pathway through here because there's a lot of uh, animal uh, and bird wildlife that's that thrives here, the little ducks that we've had, um, they've all flown away now. But they still return occasionally, so it's just nice for them to have a 
nice mode area for them to, to be in. I mean, this is uh, well over knee height now and the, the trees themselves have been a bit overrun, so we're gonna have to free those up. Look at that a bash now. Fifteen minutes later, and this is the outcome. Looking pretty good. Left it intentionally a bit longer. We're expecting some rains tonight, so whatever residual grass there is on here is just going to seep down and it'll actually look quite good. What I forgot to mention about the uh, at the Ryobi at the very outset of this is that it's a 1200 watt motor, which means that it's it's supremely powerful. It just doesn't get stuck. It, you, you'll, you'll hit kind of big tufts of grass or um, you know weeds or whatever it is, and it just doesn't miss a beat. It just keeps chewing through them. Um, generally speaking, I mean, it's just a real workhorse of a strimmer and uh, I just can't praise it highly enough at this stage. It's, uh, it's about the fifth or sixth time that we've used it and it's, it's, been, it's been terrific. Like I said, it's a, it's a powerful motor, gets the job done and uh, yeah, you can't really knock it. I recommend it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can also follow us on Instagram or check out our website at myhomefarm.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. We hope to see you on our next video.